Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. You had a thing in the Observer this week about the ratings, and you mentioned that you know even though the competition Summer Olympics, there were three things that stood out to you about the number. One of them being the eighteen to thirty-four was like, was that a record? Oh, I've never heard of it. I mean, I thought 0.13 was as low as it ever got. Um, there might have been a show that did lower, maybe 0.12. This was 0.08. I mean, you know, and and um, the funny part, so the, the, you know, like, I mean, when I, I, I hate doing nuanced discussion of ratings because everyone, you know, I don't know what it is, but it's just like you you go into depth and people just get lost. Um, but you know, before the Olympics started, I basically said any numbers during the Olympics, throw them out. It's unusual. It doesn't matter if they get killed, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, and I figured everyone was getting killed. NXT got killed. Okay. The first week of raw actually did pretty well with 18 to 49 is better than I expected, but over 50, but whatever total viewers got killed. First week of SmackDown got killed. Okay. Um, first week of AW got killed. Then we got um um the for actually the first rampage and collision were were better than I expected. The second one, well, the second rampage was not. The second collision I knew would be terrible between the SummerSlam and um being moved out of the time slot. Of course it was gonna do horrible and it and it did, but the 18 to 49 number, the 0 0.08 there, you know, for collision on that day, it was like, I mean, 189,000, um, scary. 0 point, then you look at 0 0.08, you know what? It's about what I expected, so I'm not going to be scared, okay? I just, you know. Then um, the raw number, I knew the raw number would be good, just like tonight's SmackDown number. It's Roman Reigns' return. Of course they're going to get a good number, even mm -hmm. against the Olympics. They got something big. Raw after SummerSlam, they got something big. NXT, that great show, even with that great show, still didn't do, you know, what, 0 0.16, 533, I think. Not that great. Um, but doesn't matter. Throw it out. So the, the first week of, it's weird. The first week of um, Dynamite, the number that they got, looked at it and it's like, well, figured, figured 600,000. Figured 0.19, they did 603, 0.18. It's just what I figured. Mm -hmm. Not even anything I had to think about. This week, they were up a little bit. Not a lot. Um, 18 to 49, they were actually, even though it's a 0 0.18 to a 0 0.19, which doesn't sound like it was up a lot, it was actually up about 11% because the number, it was like a low, it's like a 0.175 and maybe like a big 0.19 or whatever. But it doesn't matter. But it, they were actually up. So I originally, when I look at that number, I go, oh, you know what? I thought that the show the week before was a stronger show on paper. This show did slightly better ratings. Fine. Against the Olympics. For whatever reason, you know, I posted and people just freaked out because Raw did well. You know, and how can you, you know, whatever. That's that's just complete idiocy. Um, so, so I didn't, you know, it's like, okay, it's a number. Next week's, you know, a more real number. It's better than I thought they would do. Or, or 1849 was the same as I expected. Total viewers was up 5% from what I expected. Certainly not going to worry. Then I saw everything, you know, in detail. And I, uh, I, I, there were things to worry about. That 1834 number was so unusually huge. Belying the fact that 35 to 49 number was so high that it blew me away at the same time. So it kind of ends up with a number that was, you know, in the ballpark of what I expected. Okay, but the 1834 number was so scary because that's the future number and that's the one that hurts and that's the age group. That's the age group that buys the tickets. And then I went and looked at all the advances and, you know, you can look in the observer. It's there right there. It's like, it's it's a problem. The Arthur Ashe one is, is really low. 3,500 for Arthur Ashe Stadium. Where they've already announced pretty much Darby Allen's going to be challenging for the title. And you know it's going to be a big show. It's their biggest TV show of the year. And people know it, and it's New York market, and yeah, it's scary. Um, it's 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 you know there is a problem, and you know part of it is, you know I I mean the, the Wednesday shows are great, 
you know, not every week, but many weeks this week, I thought it was a great show, but it's not, you know, it's like, it's one thing. And, and, and like with, with Danielson and, and Jarrett, you know, it's like, um, if you look at the quarters, um, you know, I mean, it's right there. And it was the first, now the first time, um, in history, Big Bang Theory did a point two zero. They did a point one nine. Never happened before. Where Big Bang Theory beat them. However, they opened much bigger than Big Bang Theory, so it wasn't like they're just losing Big Bang Theory's numbers. However, you know, so MJF and um, Kyle Fletcher did well, um, but the drop, you know, it's just like you would think against the Olympics that the audience that you're getting is a very hardcore audience because week one they were pretty flat all the way through, and it was kind of like okay. The audience that they got, the 600,000 people, you know, they're, you know, for the most part, they're going to stay. This week, they started high and they dropped, whether it's something really big at the Olympics or people watched the first match and then it was kind of like, what well, we got the rest of the show? No, we're not interested in any of this, which is not a good sign, but it got really low for Danielson and, and, and Jarrett, which is, you know, Brian Danielson, big, big star. Everyone knows him. Um, whatever, you know. He, he is and, being pushed as old and, you know, not cool. That is that is his character right now. Yeah, there's your answer, isn't it? There's your answer. Um, and no matter what Jeff does, people know Jeff is, is you know, he's in good shape for his age. I thought Jeff had a great match. Um, it is what it is. I mean, you look at the numbers. And I mean, when I looked at that, it's just kind of like, Someone's telling me somebody's not a main eventer. And it's like, I, I almost hate to say this because the Olympic overrides everything. And it might be what's going on in the Olympics in, in the last half hour, whatever they were showing was just something big. I don't, I don't know. Cause I was watching wrestling. I didn't watch the Olympics at the time to see what was on and what was causing that big shift. Um, and everything. It may be, it may be getting alarmed over nothing, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, there were, there were, there were negatives of that rating that belied the actual rating when I, like I said, when I first saw the rating, I thought that's better than I expected. Um, you know, and then, um, but, but yeah, the 1834 and the, and the advances, that's more important to me as far as the health, the health of the business, if that's not the right word, because the business health is all dependent on that TV deal, but the health of the fan driven metrics, the interest of the fan level interest, um, you need that strong 18 to 34 and that's where they've really been hurt ever since March. That's, that's the one that's been hurting. Um, not every week they've had some good weeks. Um, but, but this was the worst week ever. And, um, you know, next week there's no Olympics. We'll get a, we'll see, you know, you never, you should never judge too much on one week, but it is a pattern. You know, we've talked about before mm -hmm. that the show that you and Brian did with Tony, where he, mentioned uh the tune in or I, I think he mentioned on that show like this was. was the reverse of that like they had a high they had a high lead in and then time. the fans tuned out so that was scary to me that that was yeah me too um now one of the things too though you know which again people who brought this up i saw nobody bring up the key point in this but it was different from the week before because okay so last week big bang theory did an 0.10 and then uh, AW to 0.18 afterwards. So 0.18, you know, they were nearly double, you know, their their lead in, which is still like the biggest show on cable, other, you know, biggest um, non first run show on cable is Big Bang Theory by far on any station. Um, so it's, it's a strong show, um, you know, to, you know, and everything's good lead. It's a good lead in, not perfect because it's not, you know, perfect lead in would probably be like UFC or something because similar demographics and stuff. But, but, um, you know, still a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people and all that. Okay. So this one does a 0 0.20 and then, and then, uh, AW ends up at a 0.19 first time ever that big bang ever beat you beat, uh, AW. The thing is though, is the NBC coverage and it, which also happened the same week. The N NBC coverage starts at eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, USA is covering more, but NBC is where you get your monster. You know, that's where you get your, your 13 million viewers, not to mention when NBC's on, lots of people are on Peacock, you know, watching it then. Um, you know, that's the prime time. 8 to 11 is when almost all your Olympic, not almost all, but 61%, I've been studying this, 61.3% of the 
Olympic viewership is between 8 and 11 p.m. Between NBC, USA, whatever else, if he's got it or somebody else, CNBC's got it, which I think CNBC only has during the day. But um, And then, of course, Peacock. So you're going against the hardest period. Everyone, every wrestling show is, has, has been going against them. Um, you know, other than, you know, every, every, everyone, everyone except for the, the one, the, the collision show, um, which didn't go against the hardest part. But um, so, so Big Bang Theory didn't go against that level competition. So that's part of it. But, you know, again, if you look at the week before, why Big Bang Theory doubled, um, I have no idea. You know what I mean? But it did. And it didn't help AEW at all. AEW did this, you know, it was up 10% while Big Bang Theory doubled. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, um, I mean, ne next week's, like I said, next week's probably a lot more important. But this is like the other, the other thing is just like every week there's no deal signed. And this was a, you know, again, this was the worst week of numbers to be expected to a degree. Yeah. And I mean, even, even not, you know, like I said, of all the AEW numbers this week, Rampage is the only one that I was floored by. Okay. I was not floored by collision. Um, it was lower than I expected. Like I said, total viewers, but higher than I expected in 18 to 49. Okay. Rampage number um, really was low, even low, even with the Olympics and everything that one, um, but you know, like, look at the show. I mean, it, it, you look at the lineup and there's your answer. Okay. So it's, I, I got an answer on why I know why, but it's still concerning. Um, but you know, again, you're in negotiations to, you know, this is the most, this period is the most important period and they were doing pretty good. You know, they had those two big shows with, with Max and, and Will Ospreay and the blood and guts. So they were they were doing okay, you know, until the Olympics came, and um, now, you know, now the momentum's in a different way, and um, they haven't signed the contract. They they did give a they did have the pay per view match though, and then they also had blood and guts, and right. you know they they could create stuff like that again if they if they need it, but but know, they did that... they did Dar Darby and Adam Page with with no build. And didn't, you know, and, and and didn't do well, but they knew that going against the Olympics. And then this one, um, you know, yeah, Max and Kyle Fletcher had a great match, but in no way is is did people believe Kyle Fletcher could win or do they see Kyle Fletcher at that level? I just hope this springboarded Kyle Fletcher because he was he was so good in this match that, you know, and I mean, I know everybody, you know, there's so many guys that are great wrestlers there. Um, but and 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 they they you know have good showings, but the Kyle Fletcher showing and the way the crowd reacted to him, you know, like they got guys. It's it's but it's that same thing. It's like because the crowd reacts to you, that doesn't necessarily make you a main eventer. Um, you know, Beast Mortos. It's like um, <laughs> that guy is he is phenomenal. But you know, and I and I think like yeah, push him, push Kyle Fletcher, push. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like that doesn't necessarily mean if you push them as great as they are that that. You know, they're going to be uh, effective in key spots when it comes to ratings because um, that audience that goes crazy for them at the live show is not necessarily the, the same thing that the people who are not watching and only watch for names. Um, it means nothing to them because they don't know those names or care about those names or they see those names as just cannon fodder. They don't care about the work. It's their, their cannon fodder guys who wants to watch cannon fodder guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.